Come on. Can't even charge my battery now. Hey guys, welcome to the video by DJ Spiracy. Today I want to show you one what happens basically when your charge lead breaks off, your balancing plugs. That prevents you from charging your battery. Like this guy here broke off. This is supposed to be in right here. I could jam it back in, but because the pin broke right here, it won't go. And basically you should take this, put in your battery, positive, positive, negative, negative, and you have your balancing lead in the middle. Now because this is broken off, can't really charge my battery up. The way I can, you can fix this, there is two ways. What I do, I go to my local hobby shop that this is Great Hobbies and I just buy a charge lead extension. This is a 4S, I don't have my 2S brand new unpacked yet. Un still packed, should I say? Just to show you guys. This is my 2S. This is just an extension. Usually you plug it in here to give you a little bit more space to plug in your charger. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut the wire from here and use this plug right here. To be able to change this one right here. I do have one already cut right here. I'll use this one. Now, like I said, there's two ways you could do it. What I could do is grab my cutters and just push down the pin and just remove one pin reinsert the pin in here instead of uh, cutting these guys down and just put these together here or the other thing you could do is do one by one you put your connector identical you do your first wire cut it splice them weld it then do your second one cut and splice and then your third one now what we're going to do today is just remove one and we're going to do a splice, splice and cut. Now on these guys here, I'll try to bring it closer to you guys, it may not focus correctly. You'll notice, there we go, there's three tabs. You'll need to push on one slightly to be able to remove this wire out of it. On the table here, I'm going to make sure the wire is fully engaged, and then we're going to just push on the pin. Sometimes they're a little bit difficult to do. Or you might need something that's uh, pointy. that I forgot to take out. I do apologize for that guys. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to use one of my small bits. That's why sometimes cutting one by one and redoing them all in one shot, it's a little bit easier. This one does not want to cooperate at all. Okay. A 
Reed doesn't want to cooperate. You could cut it out of the of the plastic if you wanted to. This is not going to this is not going to be good. You could, but I'm just trying to show you guys that you can just remove it. Now, one of the tools I'm looking for, I can't seem to find for some reason. pushed it too much good thing there's more than one <laughs> there we go now you'll notice on the back of this you'll need to take whatever you use to push it down and lift this tab Now, for people that don't know what I just did, I'll show you. You have your connector that's squarish, and then you have your wire comes out. At the end of the pin, there's like a lever that comes out. Basically, what I did pushing with my uh, long nose, I pushed this pin down, be able to remove it out of the physical connector itself. Now, what I did, I had to push this pin and pry it back out. Now I can grab it. put it back in you'll hear the click now it's solid now what we're going to do here we're going to try to put everything pretty much straight and try to try try wow and try to keep everything pretty much equally now we're going to cut this guy and what we're going to do overlap the other one a bit to give it just a little bit longer now if we put them together you'll notice yes there is a loop that's okay now we're going to remove a little bit of the shielding We're going to grab our shrink tube. You can use tape, you can use liquid tape. There's a couple options you can use. Now, what I do, I bring both wires together and kind of wiggle them together. And I stop when they get one end of the wires touching the insulation on the other side then i kind of squish them together but basically what i'm doing is interweaving them together and stopping when one side touches the other side and now what we're going to do is we're going to solder them together shrink tube 
on the on top of it. And we're going to grab our lighter or our torch, whatever you want to use to shrink it down. And your charge lead is back in one piece. And solid. Got to plug back on our battery. And be able to charge it back again. Now, if you guys have any comments or questions, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that like button if you did like it. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thanks.